So now we're going to show you how to make a nice easy card cake on yep. it. So um, this is how you will get the pack. So what we've actually done to make it a bit easier for us is we've taken it all apart. Um, but everything comes with instructions, which is really good actually. Look, really simple instructions. So it's really simple. You can see it's on a really small bit of paper. I mean, it's not like these instruction books where you get pages and pages. And this is really simple. So we've got that over there, Katie, yeah? Okay. So I'm going to slide a little going. If I get stuck, yeah. you can help me. Yeah, yeah. No. So, so, oh, let's read the instructions, shall we? So according to the instructions, I need my specs. We have to take this card, which is the first one, which is A, we have to put a fold in half of the picture. Actually, they're really nice pictures. Doesn't that look lovely? I can't wait to that. Can you <laughs> it was like that? With all the snow and the trees outside, it's lovely. So that's our first, our first bit of it. Then the, the next bit, I think, is this one, Katie, is it? Yeah. Um, these bits. I think I'm gonna have to get you to do that, Katie, on yeah. the fingers and thumbs. There we go. So we're just going to take out all the white bits so you can actually see from the back. Um, oh, I see. Got yeah. like the... Oh, there's the tree. Yeah, that's lovely. And, then, uh, and then we're just going to take out all the little bits just in the middle. Yeah, that's lovely. That's really pretty with the silver. That's probably like a little silver birch tree, isn't it? It's beautiful. Great. There we go. Nearly there. Two She's done a good bits. job there. She's done a good job. So nearly there and then what we do then every, as i've said everything comes in the pack the only other things that you'll need are going to be these little pads which i think are one mil thick yeah yeah and they're just to raise it off the card to get the decoupage effect and the only other thing you may need is a bit of glue to do the sticky bits down there so what i'm going to do now i i think the best thing katie is to put one in each corner yeah so, and I'm going to ask you, because my nails are a bit short, Kate, to get them a bit off yeah. the top. So, so we're just adding these extra pads just to add a little bit of dimension to the card, so it yeah. adds uh, a little like 3D effect when it's finished. I mean, you pay a lot of money again for these cards yeah. in the shops, don't you? And again, so, these are personalised. Yeah. Um, so you're actually making them... So literally, I'm just putting it on top, people. putting it on top of what is the pattern already there. Yeah. That's actually quite, you know, for someone that's not really a particularly good crafter, that's pretty simple, isn't it? So can you see that? That's a great, as I said, simple little bit to do, but it is very, very effective. Now we're going to add the other little bits. We have to add that little bit onto that tree. So I think we just need one pad for that, Katie, in the yeah. middle. So if I pop that on, I'm going to get you to take the top yeah. bit off. <laughs> so, and I'm going to pop that on there. Oh wow, that's amazing. Hey look, look at that guys, isn't that good? Can you see that there? Again, it's just adding a little bit yeah. of dimension. Absolutely. So you've got that 3D effect. As you can see, I took over a little bit there. I should have probably listened to Katie and she would have guided me in the right direction. So perhaps I should listen to you. You tell me what to do, Katie. Okay, so if you just pop, pop that on. Yeah, that's what I need. I, I get so carried away, guys. I really love this hobby stuff. I think, oh, I've taken the top bit off before the bottom. Hang on there. And I think if you add one, just line it up. You just add one just there. Onto the tree? Yeah, down a little bit, just sort of on the base of the on tree. On the base of the tree. There we go. Do you know, this is really, it's, it's actually quite fun. It's actually good fun doing it with someone else, isn't it? <laughs> Rather than just doing it on your own. And we might just need to cut the dots if they're a little bit big around the edges. Oh, okay. You can see. Yeah, yeah. Can you, you see? You can the just thing? about see yeah, they're yeah, going I can over see the that. edge. Yeah, so we're just that's easy just to cut off with a yeah. pair of scissors. Just Again, if, it, if kids are using it, they're going to have to get their mums or dads to do it, aren't they? Cut around so. the edge. So, and then we're just going to stick on the top there again, just to. Now, just look at. I mean, look how effective that is, guys. I mean, isn't that great? Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to get another little pad, and we're going to stick. And the great thing about this, guys, is I know you know we've often we try and follow the instructions, but. If you're anything like me, I, I, I get instructions wrong. I'm, I'm one of these, I'm a bit of a... Impatient. Yeah, and I, I don't, oh, I've, look, I've got the little bit hanging over the... Casey, can you just cut that bit off? Yeah, so that So is that... This has got, that one in your hand has just got to go on top of here. So okay. basically all of the, uh, all of the pictures are all the, they're all the same, so it's really easy to follow. So basically you've got the house there, yeah. and then you've got the other little house that just sticks on the, on the top. top but as you can see they're exactly the same so you're just basically popping that yeah. on top of there. Shall I put that on for you? Yeah and then that can go on top of the houses 
on so, the top there so you can see. Oh, okay. It's just going over. Just going to take these off. I think that's. I think that's it, actually, guys. And if you look there, that's the card finish there. Now we're just putting the the last bit on, which actually covers up all these. What it do? It cover up all these edges. You know, because obviously we can see the edges. You wouldn't see that on a normal card. So while Katie's taking that that apart, but the other thing I wanted to just mention, I didn't look. You have an envelope in there, which is really nice, the right size envelope. Oh, it gets, a, gets a stamp as, as well. How much is the stamp? Is that free? Yeah, free it stamp? comes with a pack. I, I actually think that's Santa's stamp to get it posted yeah. for free. If you had that sitting on your mantelpiece. Um, again, you can't be um, personally homemade stuff. I think, like again, yeah. like you know, when we made that cracker the other day, that was lovely, wasn't it? And that is the final result. And as I said, I think that's a really nice card yeah. to give to somebody. Would you like if I send you that type I of card? I would love it. Yeah, that's because fine. you've made it. That's what I think is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Homemade. Yeah. And I think uh, just to say that all of these different um, shapes here. So you've got the tree that went on top of the other tree. Mm. They're all exactly the same. So it's really, really simple. So you're just yeah. putting this little tree on top of this and tree. And it's all numbers. Yeah, and you're all just, you're just layering it up. So then it adds this um, dimensions and 3D look. Yeah. So that's our easy homemade Christmas card. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. I love working with Katie. So, uh, you know, as we're showing you this, but so just remember Hobby Base are there for your hobbies and crafts. So please subscribe to our channel. Get, Get crafting! crafting. <laughs> All these, like the holes within that page were filled in with, what are they filled in with? I'm not sure. Huh? They're empty. Oh, they're empty. So sorry, right, okay. So. <laughs>